One of the most exciting things about growing up is having a teen romance, but a frightening number of teenagers are becoming victims of violence, some without even knowing it. So how do you prepare your youngsters to deal with the risks? Author and teen expert Danny Miller is here with what you need to know. Danny, so what we're talking about here is 15, 16, 17-year-old kids. They're experiencing violence. What sort of violence? Yeah, in fact... Children even younger, we know that today young people consider themselves to be in romantic relationships, 75% of young people by the age of 14. So they're really very young. They obviously at that age in particular don't necessarily have the skills to know how to deal with these really toxic relationships. And sadly we are talking about quite extreme levels of violence, hitting, kicking, biting, slapping. In fact one third of teens when they were surveyed here in Australia said that they know of a friend who has experienced dating violence and 25% of young girls are identified as being victims of violence themselves. So a third of teenagers, so one in three, yeah. does that number s surprise you, Danny? Well, sadly it really doesn't because we know that domestic violence is such a huge issue here in Australia as well. And I think for parents, the huge red flag here is that this is starting young and often at, at that very young age, teens also tend to be really secretive about their relationships. They're scared they'll get in trouble off mum and dad. So although it's tempting for us um, to say things like, you know, if any boys turn up, I'll be on the, uh, the front porch with a shotgun, we need to avoid that kind of culture of secrecy mm. so mm. that our young people do feel they can explore with us yeah. what's going wrong in their relationships and not feel ashamed of that. They're alarming figures. They, they sort of mirror yeah. the domestic violence figures yes. anyway in this country. Yes. Do you feel that the actions or from your experience of what you're seeing, what you're reading about, that these actions that these young people are going through mm. are mirroring what they're seeing around them? Yeah, absolutely, David. And it's really alarming. Often we dismiss teen relationships as being somewhat trivial or unimportant or just puppy love. They aren't. They're actually fundamental relationships. So they really are our formative experience of what a real relationship might look like. And if we can get those right from a young age, then we can eliminate problems that might be yeah. experienced down the line for girls and for boys and the way that young men treat women. I mean, this is crucial stuff to deal with. And we need to be educating our boys about this from a really young age. Mm. And I I guess the example has to be set at home too, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a big challenge for us as parents to realise that despite our best intentions, you know, they will watch and learn from us and what they see in the home. So as parents, we need to be really avoiding secrecy, really encouraging our young people to open up to us about what they're experiencing in their relationships. Mm. And we need to educate about what healthy relationships look like. Modelling. Yeah, absolutely. And in movies and in popular culture, they often won't see healthy relationships. No. They'll see dysfunction because that makes great drama. Yes, exactly. That's All true. Right. Thanks for joining us, Thanks, Danny. Danny. Thank you.